Hi, everybody. It is March 30, 2019. You know what? I feel like it was just yesterday that I was saying, wow, it's March 1st. Isn't this year going by fast already? Well, we're heading into April 1st, Fool's Day. What is that going to bring? Well, I've got some crazy stuff I want to share with you. And I want to thank uh, my subscriber for dropping this link. Dilbert, the comic strip, which I don't know, but look at this comic comic strip. It was Mar it was posted March 29, 2019. Why didn't you get your report in on time? Do you believe chemtrails are real? Of course I do. The chemtrails slowed me down. Okay, that sounds right. All right. Um, I don't know Dilbert, uh, but apparently the boss is really uh, dumb. So he believing in chemtrails, I guess. We're being made fun of. Oh, what a surprise. So Alex Jones. Well, do you know if this is true? Alex Jones admits Sandy Hook killings were real, blames psychosis for his conspiracy claims. Wow. Let's listen. What? Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones says a form of psychosis caused him to believe that the Sandy Hook massacre was staged. In a just-released sworn deposition, Jones admits the 2012 elementary school shooting wasn't a hoax like he claimed on his show, but a real tragedy in which 27 people, 20 of those children, were killed. He goes on to say, I myself have almost had like a form of psychosis back in the past where I basically thought everything was staged even though I've now learned a lot of times things aren't staged. He then adds, my opinions have been wrong, but they were never wrong consciously to hurt people. Jones blaming what he calls the trauma of the media and the corporations lying so much for causing him to distrust everything. The three hour long video was recorded by a Texas law firm representing some of the shooting victims' families who are suing Jones for defamation. One suit quoting Jones for claiming crisis actors had been used as part of a cover-up on behalf of people who oppose the Second Amendment. YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter say they've removed content from Jones or InfoWars because it violated their policies. Ow! Host of InfoWars and... Ow! Well, so Jones, he, the, you know, the disinformation agent, has reversed course. It was a form of psychosis. And... What does that mean for us? We're all psychotic. That's right, we're all psychotic. What about all of that evidence that you showed Alex Jones? All of that just disappears now? It just disappears, all the evidence. Didn't he interview, oh God, I can't remember his name. Um, now I've gotta go get it, hang on. Wolfgang Halbig. Right, he showed us an awful lot of evidence. I guess maybe Wolfgang will be coming out soon, claiming that he too was psychotic. Sorry, it was real. Wow, man, our world is really turning pretty friggin' flippy. Juan Guaido confesses, confesses being behind the sabotage of Venezuela's electric system. They are still in the dark. He apparently, during an interview on a broadcast in Venezuela, he has claimed that he's behind this devious and terrorist attack against the electric system. And I repeat, the cessation, cessation of darkness will definitely come with the cessation of usurpation. Oh, huh. Th these are his quotes. There will be no solution to the electrical problem. There will be no water to the houses, much less domestic gas. We will generate the necessary internal pressure to add up in this process of definitive cessation of the usurpation. And I repeat, the cessation of darkness will definitely come 
with the cessation of usurpation. Wow, huh. Well, uh, confession from America's puppet pointing to evidence. Mm, well, what do you do with this? Mm. Okay, well, things are really out in the open, aren't they? Um, uh, what do you say? What do you, how do you comprehend this world? Canadian police can now pull you over and breathalyze you without cause. Canada's new impaired driving laws are among the toughest in the world, according to the federal government. Let's watch this. This breaks it down. Quickly. I felt violated, and then not knowing. So now, now I'm really scared. Like, what's going, like, what's going to happen now in the future? They have the, and he told me he has the power to pull over, pull over a vehicle for no reason. I said, there's, there's no reason here, right? He said, no. I just wanted, I just saw your bottles there at the beer store, and that was it. Some are still leaving comments saying the new world order is coming. <laughs> it's here. This totalitarian on steroids new world order is here. It's only going to get worse. So Trump apparently intervened in a case. A Navy SEAL charged with uh, the murder um, fatally stabbing an Islamic State detainee during a 2017 deployment in Iraq will be moved to less restrictive confinement in honor of his past service to our country. Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher will soon be moved to less restrictive confinement while he awaits his day in court. Process should move quickly. Wow. Well, president intervening in cases, individual selective cases. That's not how the system is supposed to work. All right, what else do we have? Mother of all caravans forming in Honduras, up to 20,000 hope to cross U.S. border. God, have you seen? all of these articles every single day articles after articles upon articles mmm so many articles we have apparently the unleashing of illegal immigrants into this country under Trump under Trump what's going on here well, who knows if the numbers are right apparently there is a new caravan that is coming towards the United States again. And you know what? Look, guys, 1.5 million illegal aliens to population this year under Trump. What's going on? What's going on? I thought he had the military down there. What about that bobbed wire that he said looks beautiful? 
Look, all of this could be stopped. Enforce the law. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh, man. This is happening under Trump, okay? Now, he has been saying for two years, I'm getting that military down there. The military has put up that beautiful bobbed wire. We have the United States military. We have ample. Ample means to stop all of these illegals from crossing the border. So the stage play, it just goes on and on. Border is virtually wide open. In 90 days, Department of Homeland Security looses 100 thousand illegals upon unsuspecting Americans. Don't you think that's a little odd? Can we not do anything right anymore in this country? Of course we can. If we want to. If we want to. Come on, computer. We've never seen anything like this as Trump threatens to close border. Ah, another threat. Close that border. Migrants overwhelm Texas cities. Man arrested for fighting with himself. Wow, okay. Well, pulling down his pants at South Jersey Wawa. Wawa? Yes, he was fighting with himself and exposed his genitals in a little egg harbor township Wawa. I don't know where a Wawa is. So you can read this article and find out what a Wawa is. But if you were going to expose yourself and fight with yourself, no better place to do it than at a Wawa. Pollen. Pollen. Sweeping the nation. This is a helicopter. The blades causing an awful lot of... Wait a second, that wasn't supposed to happen. <gasps> Where is it snowing? It's probably in Florida. Um, pollen is sweeping the nation, soaring amounts of pollen. And this helicopter kicked up an awful lot of pollen in Georgia. And guess what? Exponential increase in allergies. Where's all this pollen coming from? I suspect we're being dumped with it. Oh, let's see. Americans aren't getting enough sleep, and it's killing us. It sure is. Isn't it killing you? It's killing me. Well, Americans, why don't you start doing some research to learn about that Wi-Fi that's depleting your melatonin. Oh, that smart meter that's depleting your melatonin. Oh, those cell towers that are close to your home depleting your melatonin. Your gadgets, your cell phone. exponential increase in insomnia. We're in trouble. Well, I just, look, I bookmark probably about 25 articles a day on crazy, crazy happening all over the world. And I don't know where to even begin. So, there, I spew some, I'll spew more later. It's unbelievable. Why didn't you get your report in on time? The chemtrail slowed me down. Oh, okay, that sounds right. Oh my God, how are you dealing with this world that has manifested? If you care to, let us all know in the comments section.